Hi, welcome back to the MuleSoft tutorial. In this video, we'll understand about the on-premise deployment and we'll create the cluster of two nodes. So before that, we saw the Cloud Hub, then we saw the Runtime Fabric, then we saw the Private Cloud Edition, and then this video, we'll see on-premise deployments. So Cloud Hub is basically all the things will be managed by the Cloud Hub like the control plane and the runtime plane. In runtime fabric, runtime is managed by the customer and uh, control plane is managed by the MuleSoft and private cloud edition, both control plane and the runtime plane will be managed by the customer. In on-premise deployment, we'll create a server on our local and then we'll deploy our APIs. So in only in on-premise deployments, this supports the domain project. If we want to use the domain project, then we can use this on-premise deployments, on-premise servers. REST, all three, does not support domain project. Hope you understand this thing. Now we'll move to the practical session, how to create a server on our local system. So first of all, we need to download the standalone. So for that, you need to search MuleSoft standalone deployment MuleSoft standalone runtime download this will take you the first website that is the Mule ESB enterprise here you need to click on agree agreement and click on download this will download one zip file that zip file is close to 350 MB this is nothing but a Mule server okay I have already downloaded this so I will cancel this and I will go back to my windows okay so this is my downloaded file now I need to extract this folder into two server because two folders because I want to create two server different nodes and I will join those node into one cluster so over here I will just extract the file and let's say I want to give the first as a mule one server so this will extract the file and the second one, again, I will extract this file into Mule 2 server. I'll click on, let's finish the first one and then we can extract the second one. So it's about to finish. Okay, now I will extract the second into Mule 2. Okay, so if you'll open the Mule 1, you will see the apps bin, all the configuration, domain projects, libraries, logs, server plugins, and all those over here. Okay, and the same way it will come for the Mule 2. Okay, so once you successfully extract it, you need to go to the any point platform and you need to click on any of your environment and click on the server now over here you will see an add server so i will add the server i need to add the server name so i will use name let's say mule1 and i will copy this command since i'm using in windows so i need don't need to copy dot slash i will just copy this now i need to go to the mule1 standalone bin folder and I need to run this command on this particular location so I'll right click paste this and click on enter so what this will do this will create all the libraries and this will create my server on this mule platform same way we need to do it for mule2 server We'll go to bin and then here I will and here I will add so you can see one server we have mule one okay now we'll add one more server let's say I want to add mule two I will copy this command and now I will run this command for the mule two server so I will keep it like this Yet so that you can see the proper logs so over here you can see mule agent configured successfully 
So everything is set up over here now. Okay. Now if you'll we'll see in server, you can see mule2 is also configured. Now after creation of the server, we need to start the server. So for that, there's a command called mule enter. This will start my server. Same way once it's successfully done. I need to run command over here, mule. So this will also start the server. So I will pause the video once the server is started, I will start the video. Okay. So now we can see both the servers are uh, configured on my platform. So if I open the platform, we can see mule one is running and mule two server is also running. And uh, the gateway is I'm using it 4.4, that 4.4 mule version. If you want to manage server, we'll click on this manage server and we can, whatever applications I will deploy on that particular server, I can see over here, list of applications. If you have any third party plugins you want to install for the API analytics or the event tracking, we can configure over here. Then there's a system properties and there's an alert history. Here also we can start delete the server, restart the server, shut down the server and renew the certificate. It will come with the two years renewal certificate. And this is basically one month subscription I'm using. That is the trial version. That's why it is showing me 24 November 2021. Okay, now we'll go back to the server. Now uh, what I want is, I want to create a cluster out of these two servers. So I will click on this create cluster. And here I will give my cluster name, so like my cluster. And there are two types of cluster. One is unicast and second one is multicast. Now what is the difference between unicast and multicast? So if we'll see the unicast server, let's say I have four nodes over here, node one, node two, node, sorry, node three, and I have, have one node four. So each node has its own state. So to preserve the state, each node transfer their information to each other nodes. So node one will transfer the current state of that particular node to other node three, node two, and node four, so that all the nodes will be in sync. Similar way, node 3 will transfer to the other nodes like this. So this is nothing but a unicast cluster. And what is multicast? Similar way, we'll have four nodes. And there will be one agent in the center. And this agent will basically send the, all the state of each node to each other nodes. So we have N1, N2. We have and three and we have and four and this is the multicast so we need to open the multicast port whatever port we want to use and this multicast port will basically sensor sends the basically this will send all the information about each node to each other nodes so that all the nodes will be in sync so right now i will create a unicast and here i will mule one I want to select and the IP address I will select this and mule2 I will set the IP address as you can see both the IP address are same because both the nodes are on my current local system if you will use more than one servers then you will see different IP address over here and port I will say auto discover and now I will create click on create cluster so this will create one cluster and if you'll see my new logs over here what this will do this will stop my present node and this will again restart and join the cluster so see if it's restarting the servers both the servers and once uh, it will join the cluster my cluster will be restarted so here you can see there are two new servers on this cluster Okay, so we saw the, we can manage the servers, we can also manage the cluster in the same way. So here we can see the two nodes and both are described right now. Same way we have properties and the plugins and alert history. We can read the cluster from here if we want. So see if it is again uh, deploying. 
So before that, if you'll see the logs, you will see cluster was disabled. If I can see, so here you will see cluster mode is disabled. This, but now cluster mode is enabled, and it both the server will join the cluster, and we can deploy our application. So if in order to deploy our application, we'll go to this application and. Uh, click on the deploy application and this in deploy application instead of selecting the cloud hub we will select our cluster so right now once this cluster is completed then I can see my cluster over here I will pause the video once the cluster is uh, status connected I will resume the video okay so the cluster is running now and both the servers are running here you can see this is server is also up this server is also up now what you need to do is we just need to go to applications and need to click on the deploy applications and here instead of the cloud up we'll use my cluster and here we need to upload the jar and uh, let me see if I have jars over here user so i have one test jar and here i will give my application my test app sorry okay here we can see the insights we will discuss this insight later for the custom business events and then here we can give the properties here we have the logging info log or whatever then click on deploy so this will deploy my application on that cluster on both the nodes even if one of the node is down my application will not stop it will be in a running state so here you can see if you want to see the logs we can go here we cannot see the logs because logs will come over here if you'll we'll see view 2 and you'll go to logs here you can see my view logs okay so hope you understand about the cluster creation and the on-premise deployment so this will be used only majorly we'll use this when we want to use the domain project and we don't want uh, to do all the application will be segregated because in this one server will deploy all the application so segregation is not there but yeah so in in this situation we'll use the on-premise and also if we want our uh, own uh, we have on already we have servers we want to use those servers, we can use the on-premise so hope you understand this video see you in next video thank you